Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are looking into an AQ type questions according to syllabus of NATA 2021. This is how the questions might be divided. The exam is of 3 hours duration. There are a total of 125 questions carrying a total of 200 marks. The paper might be divided into 3 sections A, B and C. All sections are compulsory. Questions in each section are of different types that is NAQ, MCQ, MSQ and PTQ. So in section A, it contains numerical answer type that is NAQ question. For each question, the answer is a real number that needs to be entered using the virtual keyboard on the monitor. No choices will be shown for these questions. There is no negative marking for this section. Questions not attempted or answered incorrectly will be given zero marks. So this is how the NAQ type might be. It might have options or not. It might have negative marking or not. So you need to check it at the start of the question paper. Okay, so let's start with the first question. How many different types of characters appear in the figure given below? So in this image, it's difficult to memorize, especially because the questions will be on the screen. So instead of looking for unique characters, try to find out repetitive characters. Start from the top row and after you complete the top row, move to the next row and so on. See if the symbol that you are checking had appeared in the previous rows. If so, then count it. So here's the answer that is 21 different types of characters are there in the figures given below. Next question given below is a series of numbers which number will replace the question mark so these are the numbers that is 101 103 107 109 there's a question mark 127 131 and so on so in this case the series represent the prime numbers between 100 to 170 hence the right answer is 113 Next, how many lines are there in the image given below? So, starting with near vertical lines means they are near to vertical. Those are 14. Near to horizontal lines are 4. Lines inclined and slanting to right are 2. Lines inclined and slanting to left are 3. Hence, the answer is 22. Always start with counting the vertical lines and the horizontal lines and then slanting lines and the diagonals. Next question, how many configurations of blocks appear only once in the figure given below? So here is an image where the configurations appearing twice are marked. Hence the unmarked other answer that is 12. Moving on, what is the number of fonts used in the words given below? In the below image, I have marked with colored lines the repetition that is the same font. You can now count unique font types. So here, banana, pear and guava are totally different fonts. Basically, whenever font questions like these are asked, observe the edges of the alphabets and see if any other word follow the same trend as the alphabet considered. For example, consider alphabets N and G in the green line word mango. You can see the same trend followed in the word orange marked again in green line. Observe the letter E in apple is similar to E in the pineapple as well as pomegranate, but different E in, in pear. I hope you can find similarities like this. So the right answer is 6. Moving on. What is the maximum number of whole cuboids of length 2 cm, breadth 1 cm and height 1 cm that can be packed into a large cuboid of length 3 cm, breadth 3 cm and height 11 cm? Cross section area of the large cuboid of height 11 is 3 into 3. So we better place some small cuboids such that its area is 1 into 1. In other words, make length is equal to 2 cm as height and height that is 1 cm as length. With that, the bottom portion will have a stack of 3 by 3 which is equal to 9. Small cuboids of height 2 cm stacking another 4 rows above it will bring it to the height of 10 cm. 
the larger cuboid now has only 1 cm height now we have to fit the cuboid such that the height is always 1 cm the below image shows one possible arrangement we can accommodate four cubes so with the similar case the right answer is 49 Next, Professor Patiam, in an attempt to create the world's most delicious dish, managed to merge a cylindrical idli with a diameter of 17 cm, height 66 cm, with a torus-shaped medu vada. Inner hole diameter is equals to 2 cm, outer diameter equals to 16 cm, and tube diameter, that is height of torus, equals to 7 cm, such that the medu vada is parallel to the base of the idli and the centroids of the two solid collide. how many surfaces does the resulting solid contain so down is the figure which shows the two shapes separately and the union of the two such that they are centroids lie at the same point since the torus outside diameter is smaller than the idli its outer surface will be merged inside the cylinder when unioned also the height of torus is 1 cm greater than the cylinder and so the curved portion of the torus will project on bottom and top figure shows the top one the same is symmetrical for bottom two number of surfaces on top equals to 1 cylinder flat surfaces plus 1 torus curved surface plus plus 1 circle at the center equals to 3 Number of surfaces on bottom equals to three. Number of surfaces on side equals to one. Total is three plus three plus one. That is seven. So the answer to this question is seven. What is the maximum number of equilateral triangles side three centimeters that can be placed in a square of side six point five centimeters without overlapping each other? Height of the equilateral triangle of side three equals to square root of three square minus one point five square, which equals to two point six. So the below image shows the arrangement of the triangles, and with this arrangement, the triangles fitted in the square are eight. Hence, the right answer is eight. Moving on, how many triangles are there in the figure shown below? So in this case, start with counting in the first image. That is, number of triangles in this image are twelve. Next, number of triangle in red color equals to four. Number of triangle in green color equals to four, which is shown in the image. Next, number of triangles shown in the images are four. Next, number of triangles of green equals to two. Number of triangles in purple equals to two. Next, number of triangle has two. Number of triangles equals to four. In the next image, number of triangles equals to four again, and the last number of triangles equals to two. Uh, adding all of them up, the right answer is forty triangles. Moving on, count the number of stacked triangular pieces in the image shown below. So here, let's start with counting from the bottom, starting with the bottom row. Equals to nine number of triangles in the top view. Moving on, second row from bottom again nine. Third row nine and there is one less. So nine minus one equals to eight. Fourth row there is two less. So seven. Fifth row there is three less. So six. Sixth row there are four. Seventh row there are two and eighth row there are one. So adding all of this, the right answer is forty six. Shown below is a combination of fixed pulley. If the triangular load moves down, how many pulleys will rotate in the same direction as the smallest pulley, including itself? The overlapping paths do not interfere with each other. So here's the solution. The smallest pulley is indicated by S, and it rotates in clockwise direction as shown in the figure. So here the trick is, since the weight moves down, the direction of the moment of the cable rope is along the rope moment. In other words, the arrow head should be such that it is in the front of the rope moment. It's best to count the circles following the direction of the rope from the weight, else you might get confused. Hence, the number of pulleys wheeling in clockwise directions are eleven. So the answer is eleven. Moving on, the current time is ten minutes past three in the afternoon. What will the angle be between the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock? Four hours and forty minutes from now. Current time is three hour ten minutes. Time after four hours and forty minutes will be. Three plus four hours and ten plus forty minutes. That will be seven hours fifty minutes. In one hour, 
the our hand would be moved to 30 degrees 30 degrees which is 360 by 12 next in 50 minutes the our hand would move to 30 30 into 50 by 60 which equals to 25 degrees from 7 angle of the our hand equals to 7 into 30 plus 25 equals to 235 because the time right now is 7 hours 50 minutes and the hour hand is few degrees past that is after 7 angle of the minute hand equals to 10 into 3 which is 300 degrees since the minute hand will be at 10 because it denotes 50 minutes so the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand equals to 300 minus 235 that equals to 65 degrees so the answer is 65 next the word ape is an anagram of pea how many of the following words are anagrams of animals so anagram is you can do permutation and combinations of the letters in the word so starting with flo which will be which can be a wolf and so on as you can see in the image below so the answer is 8 next privacy of a space depends on the level of closure it has from its surrounding that is the difficulty of accessing that space from outside the house the figure below shows the plan of four houses at a village street junction which is the most private room amongst all the across the houses all the rooms across the houses so this is the plan and you need to find one room one such room which has least openings and which have openings only from the inner rooms so observing that the right answer is 25 which which is open only through a inner room that is 24 uh, and is highly segregated from the outer surrounding next question the figure below shows the layout plan of the conservative temmalwadi village which consists of a cluster of houses black lines represent walls and the openings in those walls represent either windows or doors also marked are the houses of riya who lives with her family and barkya who are in love and having an affair so hidden from the eyes of the villagers they regularly meet at night in barkas house uh, temmalwadi is so conservative that even the sight of a woman on the street at night raises eyebrows if riya takes the path that has the least number of openings what is the number of openings that she will have to pass by the by to get to barkas house so here we have to see how can riya sneak out at the night without having to cross many openings so in this case this is the image and the green line shows how she can sneak out without facing more openings note that the doors that riya crosses are w r and s so the answer is 3 Next shown in the figure is a pyramid with a square base formed by vertices E F G H and a top vertex I the diagonally opposite vertices E G and F H are connected to form the vertex J at their intersection the vertices I and J are also connected as shown how many triangles are formed by all these vertices so this is a similar kind of question which we went through before but that was just triangles and a 2d surface and this is a 3d object so you need to find the triangles so this is the first figure where you can see the red triangle and the green triangle are two Uh, so hence the number of triangles are four here in the image only one is shown so that you don't get confused next in the next image the red are two triangles and there is a green one whole triangle in the next image again the same in the different direction there are two red triangles and one green triangle so adding all of them up the right answer is 18 moving on mithapur works on a barter system each person then loves different sweets mukund is willing to exchange two toffees for a lollipop and three ice creams for a toffee ranjana is willing to exchange one ice cream for two lollipops and three toffees for a lollipop mukund and ranjana don't know each other but both of them know sita who loves toffees Sita has one lollipop. She can meet Rajna and Mukund only once. Not necessarily in that order. What is the maximum number of toffees that Sita can get? Okay, so let's start with T equals to toffee, L equals to lollipop, and I equals to ice cream. These are the short forms. So Mukund has two toffees, which equals to he will exchange it for one lollipop. He has one. He has three ice cream, which he'll exchange for one toffee. Ranjana has one ice cream, which he'll exchange in. two lollipops three toffees which he'll exchange for 
one lollipop. Sita has one lollipop and wants the maximum of toffees. So in first case, if Sita exchanges with Ranjana first, she would get three toffees. In second case, if Sita exchanges with Mukund first, step one, she exchanges and gets toffees with Mukund. She will get two toffees first, which she will exchange with Mukund again to get six ice creams. Step two, she exchanges her six ice cream with Ranjana and gets six into two, which equals to twelve lollipops. Now Sita exchanges twelve lollipops with Ranjana and gets twelve into three, that is thirty-six toffees. So the right answer is thirty-six. Here you can pause the video and go through it again and solve it for yourself. Next. Atul has nine cats that always fight with each other. He puts all of them into a square box. What is the least number of square partitions he must use to keep all the cats separated from each other? You may use any size of square partition. So down figure shows the possibilities and I think four squares would help keeping them separate. So the right answer is four. Next, how many differences are there in the two images given below? So this is a similar example like we used to do in our childhoods with the newspaper. So we need to show the differences in the image and count how many ever they are. So in this image, there are 10 differences. I think you can go through the image. Okay, so here we come to the end of the video and these are only sample questions which will help you for your Nata and 80 question type. I hope this was helpful to you. Please consider subscribing because we are coming up with more such videos of MCQ, MSQ, PTQ in the further days and keep practicing. See you. Bye.